Welcome guys, thank you for watching this video, but before we proceed, do not forget to subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, share it to all of your friends, and also check out the description for further information guys. And now, let's get into the video. Alright guys, so welcome to today's video, and in today's video I just want to quickly show you how to add new stuff to this character editor right here because i have been receiving some requests even on discord that some of you have been experiencing issues with adding new stuff to this character customization system and as i've already said we are going to work on that today so let's just quickly check out how this thing works so as you can see you basically just start off with this GUI right here, which allows you to, yeah, just edit some certain aspects such as the hair, face, accessory, etc. Okay, so when you start clicking on one of those, a GUI appears right here, which allows you to click on the desired hair, so on the hair you want to add, and to even change the colors of that. All right. Next one is face, and here as well. HUI appears now accessory so exactly the same so you guys probably understand what I was trying to point out so there is basically this GUI which plays a huge role within this question all right all right all right wait what happens when I click finish yeah so um, some of you have also been reporting that the teleportation does not work or anything and yeah, of course, it does not work in studio because, I don't know, studio does not allow players to teleport, but it does work in Roblox, okay? So, it does work, but it doesn't work in studio. And that's, and, and that's not an issue with the script, that's an issue with Roblox itself, so it has nothing to do with, yeah, my scripting or anything. Alright, now let's move on. So, let's assume that, well, let me take, let me take those shorts okay well, let's assume that these these shorts right here are a completely new item okay so these are completely new pants let's even call them luffy shorts and of course there's this white thing missing down here but let's let's pretend that these are luffy's shorts okay so you have just created, created them in blender and you would like to add them okay so what is the first step you need to do of course, you need to import everything, etc. Name it as it as it is right here. And this also goes for the tops. So you need to understand how this character uh, editing system works. So basically, when trying to attach a clothing asset to a player, the script goes through the character Wait, let's pretend that this dummy is the character. So it loops through the character, okay? And let's say it is right here at the left foot. Then it tries to find an instance which has the same name inside of one of these folders, okay? And of course, we have no left foot featured in here. Therefore, it just moves on with the left hand. And there is no left hand either. So let's skip all of these things and let's um, go to this point where it says upper lag. So it gets to here where it says left upper lag and then it looks through this folder again so not exactly this folder but it must be inside of here yeah so it so it looks through these folders okay and as you can see there is something called left upper lag so what basically happens now is that the script understands that this left upper lag part right here is yeah is um supposed to be attached to the dummy's left upper lag. So that's basically what the script gets to know by checking um, or by comparing the names together. Therefore, this left upper lag thing is being cloned and then welded onto the left upper lag. And this whole thing works automatically. Okay, so that's basically the idea behind of this character editing system. Therefore, you need to make sure that your clothing or your clothing parts 
have the same name as your body parts okay so if this part right here is supposed to be attached to the player's left upper leg then make sure that its name is left upper leg okay and if it is supposed to be attached to the head then make sure that the name of this instance is head but of course we are talking about luffy's shorts and they have to be in this leg area right here okay now enough of the talking enough of the explanation now let's move on with actually adding it inside of our yeah, system right here. So let's open up this editor. So the first step is going to be the GY. Okay. Now, since we are working on pants, let's just enable this pants frame, okay? Now, if we open this thing up, we have two, two things right here. One is the color frame, one is the scrolling frame, which contains all of these clothing or, or all of these pants. And as you can see, there are two more buttons, or no, viewport frames, I'm sorry. So there are two viewport frames right here. And in order to make, make your player able to select these Luffy shorts right here, we of course need to add it inside of this GUI, okay? By, and we do that by just copying or cloning one of the existing viewport frames and renaming it. So that's important. You need to rename your viewport frame to yeah to um, the name of your pants in this case and as you can see if you open this thing up there is a folder called jeans and a part called handle and if you have paid close attention to the former videos of this character editor you should already know that this viewport frame right here just represents or previews the clothing or or the pants in this case itself by just spinning around it and we of course need to take care of that as well so we need to integrate where is it our luffy shorts somehow instead of this whole yeah previewing viewport frame thing system if you guys uh get what i mean so we need to we need to prepare these luffy shorts somehow and by doing so we make it able to be represented to be previewed in sort of these viewport frames so how is this going to work out as you have already seen we we have a handle inside and we have this folder called jeans we can basically just get, get rid of them and now we can just take one of these parts called handle let's take this one because we only need to move this forward and now you have to imagine that this handle part right here is the port which is basically the center of your of your viewport frames perspective okay so your viewport frame or your view is basically just spinning around this port and considering that you can make sure that your shorts at this point are within this part because you want the player to get a full preview on your shorts by yeah just making the player's perspective just spin around these shorts you know so that's the idea behind of that and now you can just move these parts like this or this part like this and now you have your luffy shorts in the center of your handle and now just select both and then right click okay roblox is not uh, obs is not recorded so right click hit copy and now Let's go inside of this Luffy Shorts viewport frame and just paste inside, okay? And now, where is it? Wait, station. Okay, never mind. We do not even need to take a look inside inside of here. All right. Now, if you if you have done that, then that's already it. So this whole thing right here works automatically. So it just grabs the name. And as I've already said, the name is pretty important. Make sure that this name is contained everywhere so do not do, do not do something like this so add a space in between right here and then just just copy this thing without without adding this without adding the same space inside of this uh, folder's name and then just proceeding right to the service script service and then adding it inside of the pants okay so this will not work out you really need to make sure that all of these instances okay share the same name Okay, that's pretty important. Now, if we go inside of the server script, we basically do not need to do anything 
out because this whole thing should now work, okay? And so another question would be is or are these shorts positioned as I as I want as I want them to be? And probably not, as you can see. But that's another topic and I'm I'm of course going to uh, deal with that now, but it does work as you can see. We have just added a new shorts or new pants to this whole system so exactly the thing what you have been asking for and okay how do you make them move up move down move to the left move to the right in this case we all need to make them move up so how is this going to work out as you can see when you go inside of the server script right here we have this thing right here okay line line 72 change pants and if you have paid close attention in the character editing part of this One Piece game, then you should know that, as I've already said, this whole thing is being valid. And right here, we are basically just playing around with the valid's C frame, okay? And we have these if statements, which filter out shorts from jeans, okay? And right here, we have shorts. And we have defined a C frame for them means we have we have told the script that if you encounter those shorts then make sure that they have or they, they are being moved up by 0.35 the same thing goes for the jeans so if you encounter the jeans then make sure that the lower legs okay so the lower legs only are being moved up by 0.1 yeah and now we need to do the same for our Luffy shorts. And as you have already seen, they were like... Where is it? Yeah, they were around here, okay? And you just need to experiment around at this point. You just need to find out what the correct values are, or what the perfect values are for your belt right here. And since... Okay, since our shorts and our Luffy shorts are exactly the same things, I can just take... This whole thing over, but I just want to show you how you can add your new valid C frame, okay? So you basically just need to add another if statement right here. So you can you can either copy this one or this one. And this one just determines on which kind of parts the script is yeah, the script is focused. So this one just expresses that only the upper legs are affected, okay? And since we only have a upper legs inside of these shorts, we can actually get rid of that because there is like no other part inside of that folder and we can do the same up here. But down here, it says lower leg and well, that's, that's important because we do not want our upper legs to be moved up or anything, so only the lower legs. And I have explained how this uh, exception works, or how this filter works, in yeah in, in one of my past episodes, so I do not know myself. So just go through the playlist and take a look at it. Okay. And if you want every part to be affected, then just basically leave out this this statement, okay? Now, how can we edit the Valt C frame? Yeah, basically just you you refer to the Valt, which is a V at this point. Yes, yeah, so as you can see, now C1 means the C frame of your first part, which is your clothing part or your pad or your shorts part at this point. And now equals C frame new. And as I've already said, I can just copy this thing, but just to demonstrate to you how how yeah how how this works, okay? So just to demonstrate that, I'm just gonna add the exact opposite of what's up there, just to show you that. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I have I have forgot to come on, stop this thing. I have forgot to change. Yeah, I forgot to change this to Luffy shorts. So. Yeah, I just want to demonstrate to you how this works, okay? So by adding the by adding the opposite. Wait. Yes, yeah, so by adding the opposite, you make this thing go go more down. So move more down. And I could even play around with 
the X and the Z values and make this whole thing look more weirder, let's say. Or more weird or yeah, whatsoever. So I'm just adding some random values just to show you how it could look like. Yeah, and that's basically how this whole belt thing works. Okay, so you just need to experiment around as I've told you. And I have done that in one of the past videos where I have added everything right here. And I have came to the solution that this value right here for the Y axis is perfect for our shorts. Okay, so that's basically it with the C frame, but there is one more thing we need to consider. So this whole thing is wrapped inside of this on server event means it only so this whole thing only runs when you fire server the remote event right here, which is only being fire servered when you select something. Okay, but what about loading the character? So what happens then? Okay, so you basically just need to copy this part right here and you just need to move all the way down to this loading part, let's say. And as you can see right here, so that's where our whole, whole things are being loaded. And we have came across this now. And as you can clearly see, this has to do with pants because we have our shorts, our jeans, etc. And we can now just basically do the same as we have done up there. Just add, add this whole thing to it and that's it. So that's it with this video, guys. That's the way on how you add new stuff to your, to your system right here. So you basically just you need to prepare everything for the viewport frame import your asset make sure that the handle part is being moved into your asset and then clone this viewport frame place your asset with your handle with your handle part i mean inside of that viewport frame and there you go so then you have your preview right there and now you need to take some actions inside of that server script as i have explained earlier and then you should be good to go all right so thanks for watching, leave a like, subscribe, share this video to all of your friends, take care and see you in the next video guys.